who would have imagined that a malayali born and brought up in a family of carnatic music tradition in a remote village called kootaparamba in kerala would become the torch bearer of mewati gharana style of hindustani classical music this was handed over to him by our beloved param pooja guruji sangeet martand pandit jasraj ji he used to come 79 onwards 79 or maybe 78 and he was seated quietly he was not disturbing me he was not asking me why he is coming why he... and one day i asked him ramesh ji yes sir do you want to learn music certainly sir i know carnatic music but i am very fascinated towards north indian will you teach me since then he has become my disciple and i am proud today i am really really proud that he is establish himself and he not establish himself he established me also it was strictly a gurukula style of training and life for ramesh ji he had to perform household duties and other common chores and param pooja guruji would put before him many experiments to see that he was loyal towards music and his guru no. His father Sri Narayan Bhagavata was a well-known musician of those days and his mother Narayan Yamma was blessed with priceless swara shuddhi Ramdas ji who is the brother of Ramesh ji took Guru ji to Sri Sachidananda Phatke disciple of great sitar maestro Pandit Ravi Shankar Ramesh ji learned sitar and tabla under Sri Phatke for 4 years It was under Ustad Khan Sahib that he was first introduced to Hindustani vocal. Later, he learned rare ragas and thals from Pandit Vithal Chief Sagar Ji who presented him with a tanpura. Then, Ramesh Ji started giving public concerts in many places. His first public concert was in the year 1993 at Tiruvananthapuram during the dance and music festival popularly known as Surya festival then he achieved a great milestone in his career a musical marathon this was organized by Surya Stage and Film Society Ramesh ji performed various hindustani ragas continuously for 30 hours taking the listeners to a world of different dimensions when param pooja guruji knew about this unbelievable feat he performed he said it is very heartening news my guruji pandit maniram ji had performed for 25 hours and this shows that you can achieve great things in music It was Param Pooja Guruji who wrote to the Guinness Book of World Records about this unusual musical feat performed by his shishya. Ramesh ji was honored during the Mewati festival at Hyderabad in the presence of his Param Pooja Guruji Pandit Jasraj ji in the year 1994. His success did not bloom overnight. It has been a long and winding road and the difficulties faced and hardships encountered by him in reaching his param guru and thereafter carrying on the traditions passed on to him by his param pooja guru ji pandit jasraj ji should be a lesson and source of inspiration to all shishyas and young musicians alike <laughs>
he was happened to be with me it was 1982 who pandit ramesh narayan he was happened to be with me he is on the tanpura i was singing hansab dhoni because i know that uh, uh, karnatak people they are very fascinated towards hansab dhoni and i i started i i was singing suddenly i don't know why i i felt that i should ask him ramesh ji that you should go and you should sing some and i asked him start with taan he took me with taan and the taan was fantastic i stopped my music and told people he is he is he is your kerala people help him and take care of him because he, one day he will be the top ranking artist In the year 1996, when Param Pooja Guruji came to Tiruvannantapuram, Ramesh Ji offered Pada Pooja and sang before his Guruji. It was during this visit that Param Pooja Guruji inaugurated the Pandit Moti Ram Narayan Sangeet Vidyalay under Mewati Kharana Prachar Sangh. Ramesh Narayan asked me to open one music school in Kerala. As decided by Ramesh Ji, Param Pooja Guruji Pandit Jasraj Ji. gifted a gharana to our kerala without any hesitation and added our own swati tirunal's name to make the gharana's name as mevati swati gharana mevati swati gharana because i want to tribute myself and i am nothing this was under the permission of cultural ministry of kerala government as we all know This is a great tribute to our Maharaja Swati Tirunal who has composed many Hindustani ghayals. Then after 4 5 years I happened to we come again this which uh, uh, city Cochin and I found 300 students they are gathered and uh, they came to me he brought that he is all you are students my god what a charismatic man ramesh ji guru ji pandit ramesh narayan is carrying on the mewati gharana tradition in kerala through the five branches of his institution in tiruvananthapuram kochi kolikod alappuzha and karunagapalli <laughs> Ramesh ji has received many national and international awards and titles for the music he has composed for the films. Malayalam film industry was also blessed with Ramesh ji's voice and music. He composed many immortal songs with Hindustani flavor for the films like Gharshom, Meghmalhar, Makalka, Ratrabada, Pardeshi and many more. Mailanjichedi 
and for the first time a Malayali is composing songs for a Bengali film and that is Pandit Ramesh And it is very interesting to note that Param Pooja Guruji Pandit Jasraj agreed to lend his voice for this Bengali film. The adventurous academician in Ramesh made many many experiments to combine widely varying schools of music which are known as Hindustani and Karnatic. These experiments gave rise to many performances by Ramesh Ji along with various vocal and instrumental musicians across the country. Yeah.